Hi, Charlie. He's acting like I don't feed him eating grass. Hey. Yeah, must be needing some vitamins or something. This is David. We're gonna fire up and melt some cast iron this morning. I've got a pattern that I rammed up on Sunday. Been sitting here to make a piece of round bar, cast iron round bar out of, so I can cut some piston range for a little model steam engine I'm trying to make. I don't have anything that's uh, any round stock, so we're gonna fire up and see if we can get things hot. It's a little chilly this morning, about 50 degrees. Be nice, uh, clear, sunny. Been raining like hell here, so last couple of days, so. We're gonna try it. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Start over. Okay. So this is the last two pieces that I'll wind up putting in the crucible once it starts melting. This will add up close to about 15 pounds. You can see I've got the crucible full, ready to close the lid after I light to get the burner running. And uh, from there, it's just a matter of waiting until it gets hot. Yeah, a few other things to do. I gotta get the silicon weight out and rolled up. There's a mold been sitting there since uh, Sunday. I need to get it open to get the trash bag off of it. I uh, wrapped it up to keep it rain out of it. You can see I put it in a bad spot right there under the drip edge. But hopefully it didn't get wet. We'll know when I take pull a plastic bag off of it. We'll come back to you in a little bit. Looks like I forgot to turn the camera on, record whenever I start pulling the slag and getting ready to pour. So we didn't get that part of it. Got another floater and have enough weight on top of the mold. You thought that 35 pounds of sand would have held down, but the molten metal's got a, a lot of hydraulic action to it. So lesson learned. Did get some good iron. Uh, this was a little riser piece 
You can see, nice grain structure. Uh, more of a vent than anything else. Sod into it with a hacksaw right there. This was the gate where it broke off. Nice clean iron, gray. No uh, silver around the edge or anything. The other side. Uh, spot looks like grass on it right there. We'll knock it off. You can tell it run out because it's that already come on up here about that high. Or come on up here about six inches. So I guess this is I'm not pouring fast enough I guess and it's sucking air. I haven't figured that out yet. This is what I was after. Piece of round stock back up here where we can get the whole thing. Camera around here. It's supposed to be a round rod. I used a piece of inch and a quarter pipe to, as a pattern, just coped it down. Uh, had some problems in the pattern, probably from air, no telling. But that's where the gate broke off right there. Nice clean iron. Other side, the other gate. And where that little vent broke off. Uh, it's rough, but I only need an inch and a quarter diameter, so I got plenty of room to machine that off. And, uh, so, we just have to see what happens. I'm gonna stick it in the bandsaw after a while. Cut some of it off, cut a piece off of it. Uh, may do a video on that, don't know yet. So. That's what you like to see when you pour iron. Saw it too. Nice gray color. See right there where I broke the rest of that gating off. It's, looks pretty ragged, but it's nice soft iron, so. It's big enough I can get what I want out of it, so. We go see how it turns in the lathe. Got a got some grinding to do on it. Damn mole floated. <laughs> 